In today's little video, I want to talk about one of the least expensive ways to do some uh, marketing for your dog training business that will get some results. And what I'm talking about is, uh, I'll go through it real quick with you. It's something that I've done in the past and it has worked. It's a little bit of a hassle. Nobody likes a hassle, but the reward in relation to the financial input on the front end is well worth uh, what I'm going to uh, describe to you. So the first thing you're going to do is you find your location on a map, where you are, and as far as you're willing to travel to train a dog, make a perimeter circle on that map. So if you wanted to, say, let's say you want to go 10 miles from your house or your wherever your training location is, it's a 10 mile diameter that, that that's where you want to serve clients. Uh, unless they're going to be driving to you from another state or something like that, but places you're willing to drive out to. And then within that diameter, you're going to list, you're going to find all the daycares, the dog food places, um, the groomers, and of course the veterinarians. Make a list of all these dog-related businesses within that 10-mile radius, right around you, which you can do on Google super easy. You know, it's not like looking up the phone book anymore. When you get that list together, then you're going to um, call every friggin' one of them on the phone. You're going to call them on the phone and you're going to say, hey, my name is Scott. I'm a local dog trainer. Wanted to find out if I could drive by, leave a few flyers, a few business cards for your clients. I don't know if you guys have a dog trainer in house or not, but I just wanted to get my name out there to a few local people. And more often than not, they're going to say, sure, come on by anytime. And uh, it'd be good for you to get their name, see who it is you're talking to. It's probably a receptionist. It could be a groomer. And just say, hey, this is Scott. You know, who am I speaking with? And they'll say, oh, it's Cindy or Jim or John. And when you go there, say I talked to John, and uh, he said I could come by and have some flowers. He may be there. He may not. But at least he's going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, John doesn't work today. But there's this little relationship that's being established, that's being developed here. And now when you go in with your flyers, get the flyers made at Staples, white paper, black ink, you know, low budget, assuming you don't have a lot of money to get started. If you have money, you can make a really nice uh, flyer and some really nice cards. And um, they get to put a name to the face, a face to the name, I'm sorry. You know, you go in and you just uh, say hello, smile, where, where should I put the cards? And um, the thing, here's the other thing. And you get out there and you do this, you're not going to be able to hit them all in one day. But let's say you hit a dozen of them in an hour or two on a Saturday. And you get out there until they're all used up. You do all of them. The other thing you can do is get these little paper cardboard brochure holders if you want to go the extra mile. And I got those too. I, I get a big cardboard box. I had all my brochure holders in there with all the brochures stacked. So I'd walk into the, the uh, veterinary office with this little card holder, uh, brochure holder with 50 brochures in it, with the business cards in the front, I could put it on a shelf or wherever it was, you know, that type of thing. Um, but here's the other important thing. After you get those all out and those leads start coming in, really nice, uh, especially, you know, when you get a job out of one of these things, that you send the veterinary office a um, gift. And I used to send them things like those um, edible arrangements or some local candy or sometimes a pizza. If there was like a local pizza place close to them, I'd call and say, hey, send them over a pizza for lunch. Compliments of Beyond the Leash dog training. They don't forget that kind of stuff. They like those little perks, especially all the people that work there that aren't the owners. It's nice to have some, and then they'll start, you know, promoting you more. And of course, you're going to do a good job. You don't want them, their clients to come back and say, hey, this asshole was, you know, hard on my dog or didn't show up for an appointment. You know, you're going to act like a professional. But you start nurturing these relationships and you're going to get a nice little stream of leads that are coming in for free. You know, just because you went out and left some flyers there. You know, this whole investment I'm talking about, hey, knock it off. This whole investment could be 25 bucks in paper, you know, in printing. So think about that. It's a great way to get, get a new business off the ground. I've done it when I moved from, when I was in California and started that business, I had money because I had another business I was transitioning from. So I jump started the business through Google AdWords and through some uh, aggressive marketing and I got stuff going right away. When I moved to Massachusetts from California, 
I also did some of that and I had some blog posts that I were making before I actually arrived like assuming I already lived there so that my blog posts and stuff were starting to get some uh, search engine optimization uh, steam before I even arrived but I did exactly what I'm telling you guys I got about I remember making about 40 little packets and taking I think it took us about three or four little sessions to drive out and establish a relationship with local dog professionals in the area so I hope that helps you and um, if you like the videos please uh, subscribe to the channel um, comment let me know what you think and if you have any other ideas things that are inexpensive leave it in the comments below things that you've done and um, also you know of course like referrals from existing clients and um, oh and hit that little uh, notification bell so that every time I put up a new video you guys will see when I did it so that's it peace thanks guys